Hi everybody, this is John here. I'm from Singapore. It's good to meet everybody here. And uh, you know, one of the things I enjoy about uh, part of my work is I get to meet everybody all around the world. So I'm so glad they're here with us today. All right, so um, you heard a little bit about our latest release in 8.2. Uh, some of you might be your first time here um, uh, or first time hearing about your next time. You're here to find out a bit more about it. Some of you may be very familiar with our product. Nonetheless, no worries. In five minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a very quick tour of Ionexa. And the first thing to note, at, as what you heard earlier in the introductory video and through my colleague Farid, is that Ionexa is platform agnostic. Just like what uh, Dan uh, had mentioned earlier, we want to bring Ionexa uh, to be platform agnostic to everywhere to proliferate knowledge and, and the use of AI and VR. So if this is your first time here, the call to action is very simple. Scan the QR code, take out your mobile phone, scan the QR code and download Eon XR today. Try it out with our free account. Uh, if you want to, if you want to give it a go, if you already have one, great. At the same time, uh, we also do have a browser login as well. Uh, well, Eon XR is available not only on your mobile device, but it's also available through your web browser. Now, one of the things about Eon is this. We strive really hard to make sure that the use of our platform is simple and um, is available. It doesn't matter whether you are tech savvy or not. Eon XR is familiar. It's an app on your phone. You just have to tap and, and launch it. And that's it. This is it. It's so simple to use. You come in, you have a brilliant, simple library. We can scroll through your institute's content. You have a workspace, a place where you find the content that you create or the content that you've been assigned to you. And even the creation button. No one is excused from, from being, uh, not being able to create their content. Just tapping on the create button, you can create a 3D learning experience or as uh, what my colleague Fari was sharing earlier, even creating 360 uh, on your mobile device. It's really as simple as using just your fingers to tap and interact. And just, and just with that, just like in our uh, desktop, um, same thing, sign in and you can see it's so simple and clean for you to use. You have a library, you have a workspace and a creation space as well. Same thing uh, to be have a feature parity between the desktop and the mobile is exactly our aim. Now, I just want to share you some of the key things that uh, or highlight the points that my colleague Farid had brought up in um, in some of the up, uh, new features that we release and some of it you saw in the video as well. When you click on this icon here, you will see that we have direct access to the marketplace. Previously, the marketplace was accessible through the creation of a lesson. Now we brought it out up in front so that anytime if you want to look for a new asset, you can do so. You can also see the importing of 3D assets. It's really straightforward. Being able to now upload your content directly straight away, uh, we have brought it again to the forefront so it makes it easy for anybody to make use of it. Now, one of the key things is now you can even have a collaborative meeting through your desktop with a mobile device or another person using a desktop as well. So I will show you, I'll show you how that looks like just in a short while. Now, uh, I, I was following the chat and I saw there was a lot of people asking about uh, the Mac OS uh, installation. Well, all you need to do is just click on the profile button and go to downloads. Okay. And then here you'll find Eon XR for Mac OS. Download it, drag it to your applications folder, and you're good to go. Right now, our macOS version allows you to play our 3D lessons, and we're going to continue adding on additional features until we get feature parity across all our devices as well. Now, one of the things that uh, people often ask is like, okay, you know, great, your, uh, your user interface is new and, and uh, you know, it's, it's looking good, but what else can I do with it? So, let me, let me just bring this up. Just give me a second, please. All right, so here we go. So, um, in Eon XR, pick up a lesson and hit start lesson. And I want to highlight to you uh, some of the features that uh, some of you may be very familiar with because we have kept it as simple as possible and some of you might not be. So what I want to do now is I'm loading a lesson now. Um, this is a typical lesson. You can find it now. You can find it in our uh, public library when you sign up for the account, you'll be able to access this. And here you can see we have kept the UI as simple and clean as possible. Um, just as before, you have your interaction tools, you have your learning activities here, and you can even play back the, um, whether it's the audio or video. But importantly, let's go back to the AR and VR features. That's what makes really Eon XR stands out. So 
by tapping on the word AR, we initiate our augmented reality uh, feature. Of course, in uh, since last year, we implemented markless AR. So as you see, all I need to do is just find a flat surface, plop, and now I have my uh, helicopter here with me. Now, of course, this looks a bit tiny, isn't it? So let's what we're going to do is we're going to plop it here now. Now, because with markless AR, we can actually scale our models up just by doing a pinch ex um, gesture. And now you can even explore in deeper fidelity. Now, some of the things that uh, we have launched in 8.2, the ability to do your 3D, not only play back your 3D recordings, but even have a 3D assessment. The 3D assessment feature just automatically works. You can do it both in AR and touch. Now, one of the, one of the fun features that I really enjoy, and this is my home, <laughs> so please forgive the mess if you see any. With our AR mode, all you need to, again, find a flat surface, drop your model, oops, and now I actually can scale it up to almost one-to-one -one scale just by pressing the one-to-one -one scale. So basically, this is almost the same size uh, of, the, of an actual helicopter of this model. I could actually walk into it and be experiencing it. I can pretend as though I'm actually sitting in an actual helicopter. So we have kept everything as simple as possible. And of course, we still maintain uh, support for uh, marker-based AR for institutes that are required, maybe for safety reasons or so forth. So we still keep both options, not only markerless, but marker as well. And of course, our uh, one of our uh, popular modes as well is our virtual reality mode. So as you can see, we use this pair of VR glasses for those who have never seen it before. They're small, they're light, they're hardy, they work on tablets and phones. And of course, all you need to do is just tap on the word VR. And then now you have your uh, VR experience that gives you stereoscopic depth and a deeper immersion into the subject matter as well. So again, we kept everything as simple as possible. We kept the UI um, as clean as possible. So again, um, in terms of the entry level, it makes it really easy for any user to make use of Eon XR. Now, I just want to highlight again some of the other features that we have uh, recently announced. So coming back again, this is our new in, uh, improved import, 3D import. Again, choose your file, drag it in. We support 40 over industry standard files. The key thing here is conversion happens online. This is a great boon for a lot of our clients who especially come with places where they may not have the resources for big, powerful computers to do huge uh, file conversions. It really works as simple as that. Bring it online, converts in the cloud, gives you a preview, create your thumbnail, and you're good to go. Um, uh, remote collaboration. So we talked about this a little bit earlier. Now, not only can you collaborate between device to device, that means phone to phone, you can actually now collaborate between phone and desktop as well. So what you can see here, I have the phone here, I have my desktop at the back, and um, I'm just going to skip a bit here. And now you can see everybody being able to communicate with, with each other. Again, you don't have to stick with two people, five people, 10 people, 20 people, that's fine. And of course, one of the key features, because of um, um, we use tech technologies like Markless AR, you can now have Markless AR in your collaborative session as well. So as you can see here, the device is having Markless AR experience, and even a desktop user who doesn't have a camera is still able to enjoy uh, and follow along the session with everybody else as well. I highly encourage you, please try this out. Again, 3D assessment, we mentioned this earlier as well. Take a 3D recording by hitting a click of a button, it instantly converts into a 3D assessment, and we brought it to the desktop and mobile. This is this is what you will actually uh, you you'll be expected to to see when you have that. And again, you get your scorecard as well. One to one scale. Um, earlier, I just showed you a live example of a helicopter, but imagine that this is a building. This is a five story building. Um, I brought it to the playground when, when my daughter was playing in the playground. I plop the model there using our markless AR technology, and I had to walk back uh, quite far, actually, to see how a literary five-story building would look in front of me. This is great for um, visualizations, and if you're doing a subject matter that requires scale, if you're introducing or uh, showcasing an object to a client, this is a great way. As you can see from here to that tree just now, it is about 20 meters. That's, that's, uh, that's amazing. You can do all this on your mobile device. Again, macOS support, uh, I can see the chat. People are really, really, um, people are really, really uh, excited about this. So you can see this is a, a live example of macOS support for our 3D lessons. Again, head over to downloads and download the 
application. And then lastly, uh, one of the other uh, areas that I think is quite interesting is also our support for Oculus Quest. If you have an Oculus Quest device, head over to the SideQuest store, and then you can download uh, Eon XR and install it on your device today. You can also link it to your account, uh, and, and we are continuously improving uh, the experience on the Oculus Quest, as you can see here. So it's fully featured, and you'll be able to explore it. So again, what are you waiting for? Go down, take out your mobile device now, take a screenshot, um, you know, whatever it is, download the app today, sign up for the free account, give it a try. If not, head over to our website, uh, head over to the login page and also sign up for the account there. Whichever platform you prefer, Oculus Quest, Magic Leap, iOS, Android, tablet, phone, desktop, Windows, Mac, doesn't matter, Eon XR will be there. So I hope this gives you a good idea. Um, of how Eon XR looks like and works. If this is your first time looking at it, if you're already a user, great. Feel free to contact us. We'll be more than happy to take you on a deeper dive if you'd like to. So that's it on my end. Back to you, Jordan.